Well, hello again and welcome to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 with me, Love Spuds, on the road to 56 mod as the Union of Britain, the true communist cause. And last time out, we gained a foothold in our war against the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union still pretty big and has 90% national unity. So this could take a while. Uh, we've just upped our uh, manpower up to 5.8 million. We've gone to all adult serve, just because why not. And things are going okay down here, but they could be cut off by the advancing Soviets. Uh, but we're coming up behind them in through Turkey. Uh, formerly Turkey, or whatever it's called now. The Japanese have got their island back. Um, I didn't restation anyone there anyway, so uh, it wasn't really much of an issue to me. It does make it annoying, though, we're having to naval invade it again, but never mind. Uh, that's do well, they're doing okay there, the, the New Zealand and South African troops. I did call my allies into the war this time around. Uh, so let's just click play and see how we get on. So, no divisions in basic training. Uh, that's correct. I'm going to use what we have at the moment. I'm not going to train very many more guys I don't think it's that necessary considering how well we're doing on the front line here might as well use the equipment we're producing and put it straight towards the front line uh, let's do some more mountain infantry research slot available um, what do we want to do yeah naval doctrines I think just in case Outdated equipment, which is the bomber, which was done. And we also want to switch the Supermarine Spitfire for the Jet Fighter. I think that would be a good idea. But we do have free naval dockyards, so I might just assign them to do that. Anyway, we've got a shortage of resources there. Which is unfortunate. Uh, we've still got military factories, so let's just carry on with these. Oh, that should be enough for now, because uh, we do need a crap load of tungsten. Where the hell are we going to get that from? I don't know. 27 factories? Yeah, that'll do. We'll buy a tungsten. Just as long as I make my jets so one a day on or well, nearly one and a half a day on four lines that's not too bad at all Soviet Union declared war on Norgesfeld what sort of government are they fascist what did they do to upset them right okay whatever floats your boat uh the British are coming for Moscow. So, Turkish. Oh, right, they've gone through there quickly. That didn't take long, did it? Uh, so, what I want to do is. Where are we? Monty. Monty, 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 Monty. Right, get rid of all this rubbish here. Come on. Thank you. Just just go ahead and do it. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you to advance, did I? So you go ahead and do that. It seems to be crumbling a little bit, the Soviets. So that's good down there. Making rapid progress down south. Uh, and over here as well. Uh, but they're so there. They're making progress there as well. Oh, they're coming. Get a move on, guys, please. Actually, there... Oh, I just need that one taken. Foreign Secretary. Uh, so what we're going to do? Containment or appeasement? Begin base national unity. Or... Change economy law to partial mobilisation. 
Uh, no. We're going to do that. We're literally going to do that because it gains national unity, hopefully. I don't think it goes much higher than 90% uh, though. Oh, they are they. What's going on here? Not a lot. You just hurry up and take that. That reminds me, they look like they're being unopposed. So let's keep an eye on that again. So they're coming from there. We want them to move. Mm, there's nowhere that good, is there? Can they get across here? Yes, they can. Sweet. It's fine by me. They have basically passed the point where I need to move these guys up. It's 1,200, 1,400, 1,000, 1,400s there. Move those over there. Let's start bombing central Russia. Uh, we don't need any of them there, do we? Right, so you can probably move up here and you go here as well. You want to bomb the crap out of Moscow. So, looking good. Looking good. Going on here, the fall of Moscow. A great victory. Look at all those green. Look at all that green. 9.1 million people lost. Halfway to capitulation. Wow, this is going to be a long slog, isn't it? Uh, what about our major cities? Stalingrad's next. We know how easy that is to take. And down here as well. Are they at war with them? Don't think so. We're doing fine. Everyone's moving up. Once we get that bit, they can all move down and we can spread across the uh, steps and get to the Urals. Oh, that's done. Good. Uh, Monty, your front line is now this front line. And we then are going to just do that. Take back the Middle East. Oh, I Those are occupied territories, aren't they? So how about you just garrison somewhere in here for now? I forgot about the whole people won't be happy if you take their land sort of thing. 47 divisions. That'll do. It gives you something to do for now. Uh, not too shabby. What else is going on? Everywhere else seems to be absolutely fine. Which is good. Marching towards Stalingrad. How are we doing? Oh, actually, there are no orders, so it's basically just going um, ham on a biscuit. Claude Orkenleck, Harold Alexander. Claude, Claude, what are you doing, Claude? Your offensive alliance, so you might as well push as well. Uh, and then you can push as well. And do whatever the hell you want. Really? That seems like a power move. Military access? Yep, why not? Are they going to war with... Um... Hmm, interesting. What are they up to? 
Oh, they are at war with the United States of America. Not going to accept non-aggression packs, though. So they're going to send their troops across, I would think. Which is fine by me. You're okay in... Yeah, I look at this all the time. What bits? Do, what do I want to do now? I'll just do that one. One of our governments. Right, cool. So. We are on a roll. We've steamrolled past Moscow now. And we have nearly taken Stalingrad. Well, we're on a, well on our way to taking it. We'll see what happens here. I think they are going to take care of it for us. Montgomery's moving nicely into uh, what was eastern Turkey. Uh, yep, Korea can. You can move your troops through if you want to do that. That's fine by me. What are they doing? They have set up a front line here. So they are doing something. Oh, yeah, I did wonder. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Look at look at that look at that eating into the Soviet Union. Just like cutting through like butter. Got a long way to go, mind. If we can just get rid of this bit, uh and then that bit up there. Then we can concentrate on this big old blob here. But they're doing quite well, actually. Uh, they are moving up. Everyone's moving. Everyone's just advancing. That's good to see. We'll make Europe pink again. That's probably the worst goddamn phrase I've ever come up with. But, uh, you know... You can't really expect quality from me, after all. So yeah, it's all this green. All this beautiful green. I almost don't need the Air Force anymore. But I better keep moving it up where I can. What they could probably do with some help up here, actually. Uh, I'll sort out my focus first, though. France doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, right. What well, what's down here anyway? Oh, well, tension has been sorted out, so that's good. I can do this now. Seventeen percent. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Soviets have... are basically collapsing. Shouldn't take too long. It'd be great if I could move the game faster than this, but uh, that's where where we're at. I actually gained manpower. That's pretty cool. Oh, their manpower is down to 2 million, basically. And what are they on? Extensive conscription. Hmm. Okie doke. How are they doing? Oh, 82% towards capitulation. Uh, and then after this, we need to take care of the eastern side of things. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's not even much point in having the air force there, is there? I must have completely destroyed them in the air. How many aircraft do they have left? 6,000. Don't know where they are, though, mind. I don't think they've got any airfields left, to be honest. Have they got anything left? Well, they must have something, because there's airplanes in the air. Ooh. Shanghai. Who does Shanghai belong to at the moment? To China, so... I can only assume that's come from the Americans? Or something? I don't know. Shanghai is somewhere... Um, in this general area. Shows how much I know about Shanghai. Oh no, yeah, it's it's there. Right, so state owner is the Chinese People's Republic. Right, so I'm glad I'm not the one being bombed. So the first atomic bomb dropped in nineteen forty seven. Well, he just needs to hurry up and get that sorted out up here. Uh, I need to change that front line, mind. Uh, right click. Right. Add that. Change the front line because it doesn't need to be that long anymore. Uh, I'll actually delete that front line entirely, actually. Uh, and then. Assign them to that front line, but that is a lot of divisions to assign to that front line. Nonetheless, let's uh, just get rid of this bit up here. Then we can concentrate on the main blob here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at that font. The Union of Britain stretches across continents. The sun truly does not set on the British Empire. Or the Union, should I say. Don't know what they're up to down here, but uh, this seems to have been ignored, as usual. Don't know what they think they're doing down there. But it's not going to work. Oh, uh, sector technology. Technology and convoy escorts. Ratio. Yeah, there's really not much else they can do. Yeah, I knew that would happen. It looks like they're going to try and cut us off. But we, as long as we got that bit there, we should be fine. But we have Montgomery closing in on them as well. Soon they will be crushed. Yes, sir. Like, you're not doing anything, so you can join... Uh, this front line here. Like so. Go ahead and do your thing. Establish the war cabinet. Right, so where are we? War propaganda. Yeah, you can't, um... You can't increase it above 90, it seems. So, war pro propaganda, but get extra percentage of recruitable population there, which should come in handy. Even though we've already got 5 million at the moment, all, all adults serve, so everything produces a lot slower, mind, but uh, it is getting produced at quite a rate. Nonetheless, uh, we've got quite a few factories on the case. A lot to repair, mind, but we have taken a crap ton of territory. Why the Russians declared war on the Swedish, I do not know. So they were never going to be able to do anything against them. Not with however many millions of people lying at the boots of British communism.
nearly 12 million casualties. Look at that, man. Yeah, that was expected. Considering they're contributing to the war. Public. They are democratic. Okay. A man looks like they're going to be coming that way as well. Sadabat Pact. Pretty small. Southwest Pacific Initiative. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just those two. Basically, and the Swedish. And the Denmarks. The Denmarks. The Danish. The Danish pastries. Could really go for one of those right now. Something's being assigned there, so that's good. Just need to continue marching across the vast territories of the Soviet Union here. Oh, there they go. They have finally been cut off. However many divisions that is. There's a nine over here, three over here. It's ten down here, five over here. So they are screwed. And that's going to push up their casualty rate, isn't it? Look at that. I've never seen such big numbers in the game that I've played. Considering we haven't even hit our million in casualties yet. That's pretty good. Das is good. Uh, we'll get there eventually. Uh, we are at war with Comintern. So we need to take pretty well, most of this, uh, some of that, 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 and this island here as well of Japan. Let's have a look. Land doctrines, artillery. But might as well go down the artillery route now. Because why not? We are using a lot of artillery. Oh, has that been... Ah, oh, right. Yep. Yeah. They've descended into civil war. Let's get rid of that line. Let's get rid of that line. Any divisions on this line? 17. So who's looking after that front then? Uh, the rest of you should. The rest of you should be on this front line. I don't really know what you're up to. A whole lot of nothing at the moment. You can invite to faction the Thai People's Republic. I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. Hmm. I uh, I don't know what to do with you yet. It's probably a good idea to actually station up Uh, on the Swedish border for now because that will be where the, the next bit will be taken over if we're going for America so just stick there for now you're all power troopers so that's fine uh, you might as well add a chief of navy why not Supplies are a, are a thing here. Got air superiority everywhere. 
There are no airports out here, so there's no point in even trying to get air, su air support towards them. So, the next place we want air support is over here. Mongolia, Chinese People's Republic. Hmm. Right, Tio. Are they actually at war with each other, or what? They are. So why are they not attacking each other? Hmm. Interesting. Are they still advancing? Yes, they are, but quite slowly. 93% towards capitulation. How much more do we need? Where is their capital now? It's up here, isn't it? Oh, it was up there. Where is their capital? Surely they have to have a capital somewhere. No? Nothing. Well, it's just a matter of time then. Fifty percent of victory points. There are no more victory points in the Soviet Union. It's all just land. War propaganda. Okay. So that uh, increases our manpower by a, about half a million or so. Maybe a bit more. Bonus. Yeah, equipment effort, why not? They are they are completely cut off from any supplies, so they're gonna be overrun quite quickly. Oh, it's beautiful. That is beautiful. We will make the world pink. And the world will like it. Because this is the one true communism. There can only be one. And I don't think because it's pink it's watered down communism. Oh no, 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 no. This is a special brand of communism. The communism that you will accept as your master. Oh, Sevastopol. That's probably the place to go if I want to uh, finish this in the USSR. It does look like it's going to be taken at some point. 12%. Oh, it's actually going to happen pretty soon. So, I am going to carry the episode on until this happens. Look at that. The F is bigger than Cyprus. Oh, oh that's better, that's better. That's the most optimal font. No, not that. We don't want that. We want it to be stretching across there. Direct ground support. Cool. Uh, Escorting mission efficiency. We'll have some of that. Just casually ignoring all of these notifications up here. How are we doing? 11%. Come on, Soviets. Your time has come. bits of Sweden. Oh no, the US. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, when it has 10% or less, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen. At some point. No? It has 10% or less. Oh, it might happen 
soon. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. The, f the, the, the font doesn't know what to do. It's going crazy. Is this it? Yes! Well, would you look at that? It's beautiful. Still, we need to sort out this area first. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me again. Uh, any viewers at all are much appreciated. So, um, yes, yeah, so we're making excellent progress in our world domination. Uh, I'll wonder if we can actually get things done before 1956. Maybe a big ask, but you never know. So, I have been Love Spuds, and I'll see you next time for another round of Hearts of Iron 4. See you then.